Now for this next part, we're asked to find the area of the parallelogram ABCD and give our answer to three significant figures. And what I've done here is just sketching it out again. And to find the area of this parallelogram, what I'm going to do is consider it as dividing it into two equal triangles by going down the diagonal DB. Because we can work out the area of one of the triangles quite easily because we've already found out the angle from an earlier part of the question, the angle BAD. We found out that it was 109 degrees to three significant figures or to the nearest degree. But I'm going to just add a little bit more to this, okay, so we don't have any rounding errors. If you look back at the previous videos, you'd have seen that it was 109.029 and so on degrees. We also know two of the sides of the triangle, okay? We know the length of AD, we worked that out as well in an earlier stage. It was the magnitude of the vector minus 3, 2, minus 1, which worked out to be root 14. So we've got root 14 for that length. And similarly, we worked out the magnitude of AB for the vector 3, 3, 5. That turned out to be root 43. So what we've got here then is essentially two triangles exactly the same where we know two sides and the included angle. And we should know that to find areas of triangles when you've got these conditions we use the formula half AB sine C as it's often known. So that means we do half the product of the two sides times the sine of the included angle. And we're going to double that as I say because we've got the two triangles. So that's where we're going. Okay, so let's just have a little subtitle here. Area of ABCD equals two times the area of one of the triangles. Well, that's going to be a half multiplied by then the product of the two sides. So that'd be root 14 multiplied by root 43 multiplied by the sine of the included angle. And if we use the unrounded version, 109.029 and so on degrees, then we should be able to get that area. The two twos cancel, so you don't have to type those into your calculator. But when you do, enter this in. Make sure you're in degrees mode, by the way. You should find you get 23.1948 and so on which when rounded to three significant figures is 23.2. And because it's an area, not that you have to do this, I tend to like to write units squared, okay? But let's say you can leave that out if you want. Don't forget your accuracy. We rounded it to three significant figures, so that's 3SF. All right.